Welcome to IBC 2025. This year we bring together our global media, entertainment and technology clients, showcasing their groundbreaking innovations right here in Amsterdam. Well, here we are on the CGI stand at the IBC in Amsterdam with the two Michaels. And let's uh, talk to Michael number one. I don't know who number one and number two is, but Michael, let's uh, just give everyone an overview of your company's position in the industry today. Yeah, thank you for being at our stand here at the IBC. CGI doesn't stand for Computer Generated Images. It's a Canadian-based company mainly doing uh, IT stuff. So we are more than 100,000 people around the world working on IT operations, working in the banking sector. But we also have a very nice and, and big media uh, sector where we have two different media IPs, two different media products. One is called DIRA, it's uh, the radio production and playout tool where journalists generate all of their radio broadcasting content in. And the second product we have is um, the newsroom system, which is called Open Media. Uh, and I'm responsible for the radio production part and the other Michael, Michael Fitzner, he's responsible for the Open Media part. Well, staying with you then about the radio offering, um, you know, lots of people visiting the stand today, but what are you bringing to your customers at IBC? Well, our radio production suite DIRA is on the market for now more than 25 years and it's used by mainly large public broadcasters to generate all of their content and to store the content and broadcast it. With the latest version, DIRA Dimension, we went away from having an installable software product which you need to install on a PC. Uh, it's now all web-based so people can just use any web browser they like, they can work on audio material, they, are, they can compile whatever they need to compile and plan the programs. Um, and it's a very nice and neat workflow. And of course, everybody's talking about AI and we also integrated lots of AI functionality, which I can elaborate on later on. Yes, I will come back to you on that. But let's bring you in, Michael, in terms of newsrooms and workflows. What are you offering your customers? Yeah, so maybe some words on open media. Also, we have a good footprint in the market, especially in Central Europe. Open Media is a very well adopted uh, newsroom system, uh, especially when it comes to big broadcasters, to bigger houses. It's a, it has a good footprint in uh, Central Europe. And uh, of course, we are aware of the res responsibility we have for our clients. Migrating to another newsroom system is always a big effort and a financial effort. So what we're showcasing this year uh, here is a prototype of the next generation of Open Media also being available. We have already web clients, but this is the latest technology uh, and uh, we're showing the prototype. Um, we've been designing this together with our customers. We're still in uh, research and developing this prototype, but we have already a uh, clickable first prototype that we can showcase here. So the good thing for our existing customers is there will be a smooth migration path towards the new generation, uh, which then enables you to work in a hybrid environment and a hybrid um, technology stack and um, also fully cloud enabled uh, with all modern technology. Of course, ready AI to be also implemented here. And I just wondered in terms of AI then, Michael has talked about it as well, everybody's talking about AI, but you know, what are you doing in terms of adding this to your offering? Yeah, uh, you're completely right. Everybody's talking about AI. And when we talk about AI in the radio production environment, we think uh, what can really help the journalists, the content creators sitting in front of a computer, what helps them to uh, unleash their productivity and to ease their workflows. And what we did in the recent times with the DIRA software is we've implemented uh, some, some nice things First of all, we've implemented the automatic removal of deliberation sounds. So if someone says ooh and er or ah and, or, or starts words again very often, uh, the system now can erase this and cut this automatically or at least suggests to the journalist where it should be done. Um, talking about audio and audio quality, this is a very big thing because we all know, especially in news environments, you might be out on the street and exactly at the moment you want to ask someone something, the car drives by or the plane flies over you or whatever. So we partnered with a Berlin startup which is called AI Acoustics 
and we've implemented their audio enhancement processes into our software so you can easily in our in our audio editor uh, yeah enhance the audio and uh, I would only recommend to to have a look at this and to listen to some samples because this is really really great what's what's been possible here and this is the main thing where we currently look into it's really how can AI be used to ease content creators and journalists workflows well, that's right and anything that can make things easier and faster to air is a win in my book what about you Michael yeah I think in a newsroom system uh, when you're about to research scripts or stories you have to be more conscious about the usage of AI of course so, uh, there's the technical use of AI like Michael mentions uh, I love this much it makes uh, makes things much faster and more efficient but uh, when it comes to generating script to research, we have to be much more careful. And we're trying to implement AI on, uh, on a very cautious level here to offer help on, on tedious tasks, on repetit uh, repetitive tasks, but not intervene with the core of the journalistic work. I think it's really important, but our systems offer the, uh, the right access to, to AI systems. We have been showing uh, our so-called intelligent assistant uh, with open media now for quite a while even and this year uh, we have a special partner here uh, at the booth it's Highfield AI and uh, they're showing exclusively an integration with open media and Highfield AI is offering you to generate images and um, uh, inserts for uh, graphic gra graphical elements based on a very simple input from the script so you have the script text you might have some additional metadata and with this, the system can already start and generate uh, suggestions for lower thirds, for backdrops, things like that, um, making also the generation of graphics really very efficient and quick for the journalists and for the graphic department. That's so interesting to hear what you're doing. I mean, AI is the future, and yes, when it takes away those menial, tedious tasks, it's brilliant, but absolutely, we must respect and maintain that integrity and that trust that that viewers expect of newsrooms so you're not announcing anything this year but maybe next year absolutely we're looking forward for that we're gathering feedback now for the new system uh, and uh, also want to have more information from our users how they like it uh, maybe suggestions and we already have the first uh, prospects to make initial installations of this new and, and try the migration so really going to be an exciting end of the year next year. Lots to come. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you very much. Thanks for having us.